folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm back in Brechin. Uh, it's that time of year again for the Brechin Book Festival. So I uh, got here last night, so some of the footage you'll see will be from last night. But the actual book festival itself, the main part of it is going to be today and tomorrow. So I'm just going to head in and finish setting up my table. Yeah, and before I do head in, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, uh, the channel's PayPal account in the, search, in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, better get myself back inside. So that's the Northern Hotel. That's where the book festival is going to be. And it's going to be, oh, it's, oh, it's actually starting tonight. So they've had, got some performers on tonight. And there's going to be a lot of events on Saturday and Sunday. So the hotel itself is actually right in the centre of the breaking, so it's perfectly, perfectly situated. Yeah, so just inside the Northern Hotel. Looks like getting ready for Christmas. Oh, a nice wee restaurant in there. I had my, had my dinner in there like tonight. Very nice. Yeah, I will have to change this sign as I'm no longer on Twitter. But that just gives me a chance to get something new and something better. So it's the time for setup. This is my table with an obligatory can of iron brew before I really start to get things sorted. Oh, I'm all sorted, I'm all ready. I want to have some treats for folk if they want to come over and talk. By a rich background, I don't mean rich in the sense of having money, because we certainly didn't, but I was sort of rich in that uh, sense of culture and stories and uh, practical skills of dialect wraps, wave sliders, storm to shop, nets or spun like webs, a coral kaleidoscope, strobes float like the ebb, and this is in the dirt skid, watsness. The sunset was like a woman's eyes a flourish of fire and water, and diamond stood the velvet skies as she pulls her robes about her, but does not cover her breast of pearl for its illuminating glow. Perfect perms, no cuddle, bear, stray out of place. Perfect pan stick. Pale pink, perfect pounce, poised to plant pecs on perfect pink cheeks. Me, me, me us. We are thunderstruck storms, raging against Stepford social norms, stomping our ground with Dr. Martin's souls. Red or dead rubber jackets, purple velvet flares so wide you can hardly see our feet, set by stems. Picture the riots at glaze necks, calculate percentages of volume, past doing through generational knowledge and experiments. It's a scientific fact that snake bites made of K-cider and special brew will blow your fucking head right off. <laughs> we was educated nay to hydrate. Even the name plain water emanated disease. To detect any signs of mysterious or unusual activity. However, whilst most of the sightings have their roots in murders or dastardly deeds from centuries ago, Saturday the 19th of August 1944, the public houses were unusually busy. News of the invasion of Paris by the combined Allied Forces Army had been broadcast that evening on the BBC Empire Service News. The liberation of the French capital had begun, and the pubs were full as the people of Perth joined in the celebrations. Well, this is us on to day two of the Breaking Book Festival. And yeah, yesterday was a bit quiet. I think there was a couple of things on and breaking yesterday as well. So hopefully 
with the weather being a bit better today. And I don't think there's anything else on in the town. So hopefully folk will come up into the hotel and see what's going on. I did get some book sales yesterday though as well. So that's always a plus. I think I managed to sell about five of my books. So at least it's going in the right direction. But it, it is important to support events like this because events like this do help bring in uh, new people and different people into different areas. And it's just built, uh, it's just a good way to support local creatives as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the day's going to be busier. Oh, definitely. It does seem to be a good selection of different books this year. the Breaking uh, Angus Book Festival finished for this year and if I remember correctly this is the third year they've had it in person because I think during uh, 2020 they had it digitally and last year which was obviously 2021 yeah, it was the first year back that they had it with a day in person uh, that we were hoping that there was going to be more people coming along to the festival this year. It was still relatively quiet. I don't know if maybe with Covid people's habits may have changed. I think from what I've heard, there were a few people showing up at the, the Edinburgh Book Festival and at Body, the Body Scotland Festival. Uh, so that is, maybe that's something that just has to be dealt with over the next few years. But uh, there is talk that there is going to be a lot more plans for the Breaking Angus Book Festival for what they're going to be doing in the future, what they're going to be doing like next year and the year after and hope to get, obviously get more attention and to get to bring more people into the area, especially for the book festival and throughout the year. So <coughs> I have spoken to Sarah and she knows that I will be looking forward to coming back next year and helping out and obviously playing my part and being here as a writer. So I will definitely be keeping you all up to date with what's going on and what, I've, what more news is coming out about the Bacon Book Festival. So yeah, so fingers crossed for next year. I did, obviously this year I did sell, I did actually sell books. Um, it's always, it's never uh, as many as you'd hope, but a sale's a sale. So, again, just look forward to next year and see what happens. Hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will all be intrigued by the uh, the, the Breaking Angus Book Festival. And I will uh, try and post, if, see if I can post a link uh, to the information I can find in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. If you want to try and find out some more information about the festival. And again, if, when, if and when I do hear information about what's going on, I will let you all know. And yeah, so again, hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.